I'm Brett Hammonds with ProTech Equipment Resources, and I wanted to talk just a little bit today about uh, the high voltage diagnostics test sets, in particular the HVA units that don't possess the Bluetooth communication capability. In particular, we're talking about like the HVA 30s, HVA 60s, or maybe even some of the larger test sets. Uh, these do not have Bluetooth communication, and so if we're going to uh, communicate via a computer with, uh, with these units, then we're going to have to use a little 9-pin D-sub serial connector that's on the side of the test set, but it's not really all that apparent to begin with, so we'll take a look at that and avoid as many frustrations as you might have otherwise. Uh, by going through step by step. So one of the first things that you'll notice when you receive one of the HVA units from uh, high voltage diagnostics is that it will have one of these little black boxes attached to the side of it. Now that little black box is used for downloading data via a thumb drive or some other mass storage device but not really for uh, communication between a computer and the unit itself. So if we're going to uh, communicate with a computer rather than a downloading data to a thumb drive, then we're going to have to remove this little black box. You'll notice on the side of it, it has that USB port and uh, that's again what you would use in interfacing with a thumb drive. But we're going to want to remove that, and the way that you would do that is you'll notice from the front view there are two screws that will either have to be loosened or removed so that you can pull that off of the test set. Once you do, you'll notice the 9-pin D-sub serial connector that we were talking about. And now we can move on to the next step of connecting up the cabling between the test set and the computer. So now that we've removed the little black box off of the side of the HVA unit and we've exposed that little 9-pin uh, D-sub connector, we're going to go ahead and hook up some cabling. And one of the first things that you're going to want to look for is a female to female null modem cable. And a lot of times you'll able to, you're able to identify those by labeling on the uh, connectors themselves, but you'll need a female to female null modem cable and then that cable will plug into a serial to USB converter basically so that you can connect up to a USB port on the computer. So that's really all there is to it if you have those parts. But let's say for whatever reason, something got misplaced and you didn't have your null modem cable. So uh, you have to make do with what you have. Even though the null modem cable is supposed to be sent with it, maybe it got misplaced or something. And all we have is just a serial cable, a straight serial cable, but that's okay because we also throw in a null modem adapter just for this very thing. If you have to just have a serial cable that you connect up to the RS-232 port on the side of the test set and then you plug the other end of your straight cable into a null modem adapter as you see on the screen there, and then you would just simply connect your serial to USB converter so that you can uh, have a USB cable to plug into your computer. You've essentially done the same thing as what we started out with if we were using the female to female null modem cable and the USB serial to USB converter. The only thing is, is that because you only have a serial cable, if that were the case, then you need to plug in a null modem adapter in between that cable and the serial to USB converter, and you should 
be accomplishing the same thing. Remember that communications has to be female to female, no modem. And if that's not the case, and you're using a straight serial cable, then you can use the null modem adapter that is provided for your convenience. Moving on to the next step. So now just to recap real quickly, we uh, initially received the HVA unit with a little black box on the side of it. We removed that black box so as to expose a 9-pin D-sub RS-232 port and then having taken care of that, we made the actual cable connections between the HVA unit and the computer, making sure that that connection was a null modem connection. And now there's just one more setting that we need to make so as to be able to communicate back and forth between the computer and the HVA unit. And that's a setting that's on the HVA unit itself. Now, what I've got up on the screen right now is just simply to display, maybe uh, to show you the location of the display in reference to the control knob that sits right below it. And that control knob is what allows you to scroll around the screen and make selections on that screen. So I'm going to take that out of the way so that we can kind of take a step-by-step -step look at how we would go about uh, making that final setting within the unit. First of all, it's going to boot up into the main screen. The main screen is, as you see, in step one, and we're going to use that control knob to rotate it around until it, it, it's on the reports and setup setting. And then we'll just simply push down on the knob to select that, and when we do, it's going to take us to another screen that's the reports and setup screen. Then we're going to rotate the knob down until the instrument setting or instrument settings is highlighted. And then we're going to select that by pushing down on the knob once again. And that's going to get us into the instrument settings menu. We're going to now scroll down to the USB flash and we'll select that. Now just in explanation, there are only two options that we can make under USB flash. One of them is yes, which is just simply to say that I'm going to be using the little black box that's on the side of the unit that allows me to download to a thumb drive, a USB drive. If we set it to no, then it says we're not setting it up to communicate with a mass storage device like a USB stick, but instead we're setting it up so that we can use it with an external device such as a laptop computer. So what we're going to want to do is scroll down to the USB flash and we're going to select that. Once we do, we rotate the knob to no and then select it one more time. And we should be set up in order to uh, interface the software with the actual unit. Now that we've done everything to set up being able to communicate from a laptop computer to one of the HVA units, let's actually communicate. So what you see on the screen is a one of the software packages. What I'll be using is the HVD suite, I'm sorry, HVD control panel software. And this is the initial screen that you'll see. And what we'll want to do is go down to the lower left hand corner and you see a plus sign there. When you uh, click on the plus sign, you're going to basically be indicating that you want to add an instrument to uh, the communications. So when we click on that, you get another screen. This orange highlighted area won't appear right away, but it'll take a few seconds and it will identify whatever units are available to communicate with or identified as being able to communicate with. In this case, it's the HVA 34. And what you'll want to do is make sure that the unit you want to connect up to is highlighted. And then you'll go down and click on this button down here that says add device and connect. So once you've done that, you go to another screen back to the other screen that we started out with 
except now you're going to see that it has identified that HVA 34 in the upper left hand corner as uh, being added and then what uh, there are two ways that we'll, we can verify that the unit is actually connected. One of them is to see this little green digital LED or the, the digital LED turn green. And then the other is down in the lower right hand corner, you'll see words that identify that it is connected, some information about the HVA unit that you're connected to. And so these are indications that you've actually uh, made connection with the unit. Then you can go on into managing your sequences or whatever it is that you're wanting to do in controlling the unit. Anyway, this has been what we've uh, wanted to do in terms of making sure that everyone has a clear idea of how to set up communications. If they are connecting up to an HVA, one of the HV high voltage diagnostic units that doesn't have the Bluetooth capability and be able to do so without getting frustrated. It's a pretty simple process, but there's a couple of little tricks that uh, you want to make sure and pay attention to. The null modem cable is one of them and uh, making sure that we've set up the HVA unit to where it's not looking for a USB uh, stick or anything of that sort but actually expecting to communicate with a laptop or some other external instru instrument. Thanks guys. I hope that was helpful.